Okay, so there is, there are more, more pieces um, to go through on this box. There's boxes of this stuff everywhere. So I thought I'd go through more of the pieces. Because, you know, they're pretty fun. Boy, there's a lot of elephants. Um, so many boxes of this stuff, it's really... It's unreal. Just, you know... Really, it wasn't that old, so... You know, how much... How much can one person get done in a day? I know... see them better. They're freaking sticking together. Jesus. They need to be in like archival notebooks or something. I don't even know. I mean, I'm just now unpacking boxes. learning how to film this because, you know, I film about ten of these before I can find one that, you know, I feel like is really capturing something. Interesting. It's really, I feel like I'm becoming like an expert, you know, like I should write a biography or something like I feel like I know so much about this person, you know, that I didn't know before, like, you know, there's that saying, if you, if you ever want to get to know somebody, um, go through a divorce, <laughs> divorce them, because, <laughs> you know, that's usually who people really are, they're all primal and crazy. Um, but I think it's clear their apartment out after they die, man. Jesus, especially if they do art. So then you learn. All the stuff I've learned is just incredible. I mean, they're just... They're just incredible. I'm glad I have this little iPhone. I don't know. I wouldn't even be able to catalog this stuff. If I didn't have this. Yes, it's supposed to be. Oriented that way. I guess there's most of them are signed too. I think. I do kind of wish I had a tripod so I could an extra hand. Stupid, I don't know anyone in this town. I feel like this neighborhood, man. Walking around this neighborhood is scary. What's going on for milk? You're like, I'm gonna die. It's just like suffering everywhere. It's incredible. Maybe he did this to escape. You know, your screams at night, there's like drunk people walking around starting fights with homeless people and it's very unpleasant. It's unpleasant for humans to see other humans or hear other humans acting very badly. It disturbs us. It's hard to sleep here. I'm not used to all the city noises, but I'm starting to kind of get into it. Like. It does make you want to kind of make music, and I gotta mine his music too. Boy, I tell you, organize your stuff before you die. Oh, but wait, there's more. 
looks like there's always more. These funny creatures. So whimsical. I was thinking of like the best way to film this might be like, or show it or whatever might be to just have like, you know, cause when you lay these out, they kind of look like a quilt, like just like a big massive, like a huge wall. A huge, huge wall of Tiny pieces of art. I know because he was here for so long, I know he had rent control. So I know that his living expenses weren't that high at the end, you know, towards. Well, not the end, but I think the last few years of his life, he didn't, you know, the last 10 or 20 years, I don't think he really suffered financially. Too bad. Too bad I can't say the same for my generation. I think he actually had a pension, which is like, God, who has a pension? It's like an old word. It's like the Devon. Twenty-three skidoo. I'm gonna get my pension. Twenty-three skidoo. And I read some article in one of the free papers here. It's kind of inter interesting. I've been getting to know the city and my uncle. And the free papers, it's, it's a, not a friendly place though, like I haven't, you know, you go to a cafe and read the paper and people look at you like you're crazy because everyone has a laptop. I'm like, I don't know, going to a cafe and reading the paper is like, it's not what cafes are for, like you read the paper, maybe you talk to somebody, that is not what's going on here. Here it's like, I think, you know, they pat you down for, to see if you have a laptop and headphones before you can even buy a cup of coffee. I quit doing that after a while, you know, I realized it was expensive and I'm just making coffee at home now, because so I got a lot to do here. But there was an article about the, how they were getting rid of rent control, <clears throat> and they had some crazy article about, um, they changed the building code to... 180 square feet. It used to be 220. You had to have, have like a minimum of 220. That's 180. Like, God, it's like Tokyo. It's like crazy. Where am I? Like, that's not even like, like zoos. Like, I'm in jail. Jesus, man. It's not right. People shouldn't live like that. You know. 80 square feet. 18 by 10. It's like a. You might as well live in a shipping container. Except I think those are bigger. Ugh. I keep getting mail. For him, it's so weird. Like your mail doesn't stop when you die. Just spooky. The phone calls sometimes, I get these phone calls. It's, it's weird. There's an entire box of this, just so you know. Look at that. There's like a whole box. These are really. 
great. <laughs> like we should have funerals before you die, you know? Like people should. Like, I really want to sit down and have coffee with him. And be like, dude, you're like a treasure. And a little crazy. You're like a crazy treasure. You know, being in someone's house after they passed with their stuff and everything, it's like being in a decommissioned military place. It's just. 